Have you ever gotten cramps in your foot at nighttime, muscle spasms right in the arch or right in the calf? Well, it's very common. About 90 to 95 percent of people report that they do get it throughout their lifetime and if not frequently. So what is it and is it something to be concerned about and what can you do about it? So foot cramps can be very painful. What happens is, is normally nerves send down signals to the muscles that cause them to contract and squeeze and cramps are abnormal signals from the nerves that contract the muscles at the bottom of your feet and in your hamstrings. This can happen in your feet and in your calves. So leg cramps and foot cramps are very common at night. So what's happening is there's no exact defined problem. There are only theories, but they all center around electrical imbalances. Normally, like I mentioned, the nerve runs down to the muscle and an electrical signal signals that muscle. But what happens is electrolytes can be out of order. Water can be out of order, not enough water. You could have caffeine, you could have alcohol dehydrating you. You could have inflammatory cells creating problems in nerve conduction, lack of oxygen, lack of blood flow. So all these things somehow short circuit the nerves to your muscles and cause spasms at night. So what are electrolytes? Electrolytes you know from all the Gatorade commercials, sodium, chloride, magnesium, calcium, potassium. You can replenish all of these. So get some Gatorade in after a night of drinking because a night of drinking does dehydrate you, you lose water, you lose electrolytes. So every college freshman knows if they want to wake up without any problems, drink some Gatorade. Same thing with caffeine. If you drink it too late at night, caffeine can really dehydrate you. This can cause nerve twitching and can cause dehydration. It's no secret that people are more twitchy once they drink more caffeine. So rehydrate, get those electrolytes back in your system. Another problem, especially at night, are cold feet. The cold can cause irritation, stress in your foot, and this too can decrease blood flow because your blood vessels close down. This lack of oxygen could irritate the nerves and causes spasming. So wear some socks and warm those feet up. And foot pain. People who spend hours and hours on their feet, like nurses, construction workers, factory workers, your feet are sore, tired, inflamed if you have plantar fascia, ankle problems, tight calves, your flexibility is not good. These things are all going to short circuit those nerves. So stretch them out. The goal is to always take your foot towards your shin and straighten out your knee. So stretch out that calf and the foot. Don't put your foot down. That's going to make things worse. So toward your toes towards the shin and massage the muscle out. Increase that blood flow. Move things around. Get that feeling better. Anti-inflammatories. This could decrease your inflammatory levels. See your podiatrist about this. Talk to your doctor to decrease those inflammation levels. That will put less stress on your nerves. Rehydrate. Avoid beer before bed. But if you do... Get some fluids and electrolytes in. Same thing with coffee. Try and avoid that stuff. And the 5 to 10% of people that should actually worry are smokers and diabetics. If you smoke for decades and don't control your blood sugars, your blood flow decreases. You can get arteriosclerosis. That's less blood flow. Your blood could be more sugary, more syrupy. So it has a hard time getting up to your feet when you're sleeping. So what you have to do is throw your feet over the edge of the bed so gravity can help get blood down to there and your muscles can get the oxygen they need. But these two things, you have to get to your podiatrist and get your feet checked out because this can seriously cause other problems and decrease your lifespan. Once you start having peripheral vascular disease and peripheral neuropathy, which is nerve pain between your feet and hands these are one of the biggest causes of death in the next five years even higher than most types of cancer and i'm not joking around with that the only cancers that are really higher are colorectal and pancreatic i don't know i might be missing some but this is a higher rate of death than 
the majority of cancers, and that that's a fact that's come into light the last couple of years. So get yourself checked out. So I hope that helped. And if you guys want any more specific tutorials how to take care of any of these things, if you think you have peripheral vascular disease or diabetes and you want to look further or want help stopping smoking, come check out DetroitFootPain.com. There's video tutorials on how to do all of that. And I hope this helps and I hope your cramps feel better. Good luck. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.